Hi, welcome to Mr. Otter Studio. Today we are going to be drawing the figure and we're talking about the proportions of the figure. So when I talk about proportions, it basically means like parts of the figure. And in, in figure drawing, how I like to do it is we use measurements, right? Proportioning, comparing a part of it to the whole of it. So what I like to use is the head. So today we're going to be drawing a figure from the top of their head to the bottom of their feet and it's going to look more like a stick figure but we're doing it for the purposes of understanding where parts of our body are in proportion. And this figure is going to be eight heads tall and um, there's a bunch of different ways to do this. This is just the way that I like to do it. Remember this isn't a finished drawing and this is just a practice so don't worry if yours isn't perfect. It shouldn't be. This is totally a practice. Um, and all you need is a paper and something to draw with. But just think about like in measurements, okay? When we're measuring something with a ruler, we have inches, we have centimeters, and in figure drawing, it's like we're using the head as that measurement. So like instead of eight inches tall, the head is eight heads tall. Um, and so when you draw the head, like we're going to do, you can use it and place it down and kind of figure out like where things are. And it, the nice thing is, is it lines up with like elbows and knees and the, your feet. So it's a great measurement to use and I really like to use it. And then later on we'll be doing some gesture drawing. So let's get to it. Grab something to draw with in a paper. We're going to draw the figure from the front, top to bottom, and from the side, top to bottom. And it's kind of like a skeleton stick figure type-ish drawing. No details this time. Let's get started. The key really with drawing a person is looking at them and figuring out what their proportions are. But these are basic proportions that you can use if you just want to draw um, from your imagination or you're looking at your drawing and something's not right. Maybe one of these proportions is off. And let's just start out by drawing an oval for the head. So here we have our head. You know, like an upside down egg. Pretty simple. I should probably zoom in on this so you can see it a little bit better. Hopefully you can see this a little bit better. So just draw one head, right? So this right here, this is the chin. Okay, so this is the chin. So here's our face. And then we're gonna measure about, and you can just kind of use your hand, measure down one more head. And this is going to be like where the top of your chest would be. So in between there we have a neck, we have some shoulders, right? And then we have like this rib cage. And the chest would kind of be in the middle of like that rib cage. So I'm just going to draw like this upside down bell. So these are the ribs. These are shoulders. And then we'll talk about the um, elbows in a second. So the second head is like the middle of the chest. And then where the third head is, let's just, you know, you can kind of eyeball it in, would be right here. And this would be like the belly button. I'm just going to put the BB the belly button. <laughs> and also, this is where the elbows would be. So I'm just going to put like a, a dot where those joints are. So that's the elbows. And then one more head down. So we have one, two, three, and then four. This is going to be like where your legs come out of your hips. So I'm just going to draw like a circle in here for your waist. And then this is where like your legs start to come out. So I'm just going to put, I don't know if it would be hips. Your hips are like up here, but I'm just going to put Let's just put hip. It's not your hip, I guess. Well, maybe it is. If I'm not like a seamstress. Maybe that is what they measure. And that's also where, guess what? Yes, your wrist is going to be right there. I'm going to put hip and then wrist. So write this in. This is a practice. Also, don't erase anything. If anything, you might just need to like adjust your lines, right? Okay, so now these are the hips. And then the next head down is going to be like the middle of the thigh. So I'm just going to put thigh. And also, and some of you are going to be like, no way, this isn't possible. Sometimes your hand actually is that long. And you know, if you want to just check me on this one, this looks crazy right now, but just hold your hand up to your face. It's not the size of your whole head, so it's not going to be that whole space, but it is the size of your face. So all the way down to there, it seems pretty long to me, but okay. Then the next head is going to be about right here. So we have one, two, three, four, five. At number six, that's going to be the knees. Okay, so here's our, lay, the, our thighs. They come down to our knees. All right, and then we can fit two more heads in here. So I might need to zoom out just a little bit so you can see this. So this is a thigh, this is a thigh, this is a knee. 
Ni. Do you like my really nice handwriting? <laughs> and then we have one more head down. And this would be like the middle of our um, calf or like kind of like where the calf ends. I'll just put calf. And then one more head is the bottom of our feet. Yes, you guessed it. So, just put that out there. <laughs> feet. So where we're standing. All right, now this is all great, right? But the, per the human figure is not as stiff as this. We are, we bend, we're like a spring so that we can walk. And so right here, I'm going to draw the figure from the side using these same proportions, okay? And also look at it, if it doesn't look right, you can adjust some things. Um, this is definitely, you could really, you know, use the measurement of the head. I think I kind of stretched it out in here, but that's okay. This is a practice, right? Helping us to see this. All right, now here we're going to draw the figure from the side. So just come over here and try to draw a head about the same size and placement that you had that one over there. So here's your head with a chin, except since it's looking sideways, you probably need to kind of angle it just a little bit like that. All right. And then we have the neck that's coming forward. And then this would be like the line and the middle of the chest, right? So here we have that shape. And this is that shape kind of coming up. So we kind of have like the heads looking forward. We have this angle of the chin. The chest is kind of going up. And then where the belly button is right here, I'll put the BB. <laughs> and then we have, I'm just gonna put this circle in again. But your hips kind of go down at this angle and then your thighs are gonna come up, okay? So the middle of your thigh would be about here. So belly button. Legs come out, I'll just put wrist or hip. And then this would be the middle of the thigh and then we have the knee right here. And then remember we have like just two heads till the bottom and then the foot, okay? So this actually doesn't look as curved as it should be. Like I feel like really this would be like that. Head would be even more forward because we're kind of like I don't know there's a lot of curves going on in here so that our bodies can fit and then the arms would just fit in here you probably can't see but here's the elbow and then the wrist and then your hand would be like there that looks a little weird <laughs> okay so there we have the proportions of the figure so we have our knee our calf our thighs the hips the belly button the middle of your chest, your chin, this is just kind of the top of your head, that one's a little bit bigger. So these are the basic proportions of the figure. So I'm just gonna put proportion. Proportions. Okay, now sometimes the figure's standing like this, sometimes they aren't. Um, what I really think would be important and for you to do is number one, draw one of these. And I even think it would be helpful to get a picture of a person standing up and you know, like, take the picture and really take the size of the head and see if this is right. I know when they do fashion drawings for illustration, they really stretch this part out, like the legs they make way longer. And maybe models actually really do have super long legs, so it looks right. But um, if something's wrong with your figure drawings, sometimes these proportions are off. So I think it is good to kind of go over these right from the beginning. And tomorrow we're gonna be drawing just some simple, jet. not tomorrow, but next week, we'll start with just some simple Gesture drawings with movement and using these proportions. And we are gonna draw the figure kind of in the same way with this, um, these shapes for the chest, for the hips, the head, and you know, using these dots for the, the joints where these things are coming together. All right, so let's say this person, I'm just gonna have them looking to the side. Sometimes we'll draw a little X in the face, like depending on where they're looking. Yeah, it just helps us figure things out. Thank you so much for drawing with me today on Mr. Otter Studio. I hope that was helpful for you to learn the proportions of the figure. And remember, these are not the proportions of everyone. So if you're drawing a specific person, you definitely need to look at them and figure out what their specific proportions are instead of just using these general ones. But I have found that it's helpful in my drawings when I'm drawing the figure and something is not right or it just feels like the, the legs are too short or something is different, I can kind of check these proportions and see if something's off, and it, is, it can be very helpful. Also, these are the proportions for an adult, 
Children are way different than this. Children, again, would be like four heads tall. Their heads are a lot bigger um, than the rest of their body compared to an adult. So um, thank you so much uh, for drawing with me. And tomorrow we're gonna be talking about watercolor and printer paper. Get this question all the time. Uh, can you use watercolor on printer paper? So to be continued, let's wait till tomorrow. <laughs> Have a great day, we'll see you tomorrow.